come back ready to curl his hair as you see i did my own full glam and those are the nails don't look at that one i got this rapid dry nail glue put the nail on slightly crooked and right when i was about to fix it it sealed so we're gonna ignore that because who's gonna notice let's get this all curled i'm using a one inch barrel curling iron i saw the girls having some issues with this curling iron it's really easy to use i promise you you can just hold it for 30 seconds i wanted to come on here to talk a little bit about friendships specifically my share of toxic friendships i think if i do fingers i need to start at the top I've been friends with the opportunity friend, I've been friends with the boy crazy one. I've been friends with the one that knows everything about you, but you don't know nothing about them. And I'm talking about men and women. I've been friends with the one that seemed cool up until they started catching feelings for you and started acting funny. I've been friends with the one that tried to sabotage my relationship. I've been friends with the one that will turn up and be like why you ain't ask him when you're used to coming to them for just about anything because they're your fucking friend i've been friends with the one-sided friend the one you go all out for one that you're constantly making time for that rarely makes time for you i've been friends with the one that got attached super quickly i've been friends with the one that will run to your man to tell on you even though you and your man live in the same house and he know what you're doing. Especially when it comes to social media. At the end of the day, people say friends are only here for a season, but the trauma, the unlearning, the healing, it all takes time. The people that I was friends with, I really loved and cared about. But the red flags that I ignored, I'm taking into new friendships and creating boundaries at the beginning. And I've heard that it takes a lot to be my friend. It really does. Sometimes, if you're genuine right out the gate, it doesn't take much. But I'm definitely somebody that takes some getting used to now because I don't tolerate things when you come into the friendship. It takes a long time to become my friend, honestly, depending on the person. Especially if I've tried to make friends at the workplace and they didn't go anywhere outside of work like we decided yeah we'll hang out because mutually we both thought we were going to be friends and we talked for a little while but eventually one of us just stops contacting the other person especially if you left the job you know if you were still there it's a different story but if you left the job eventually they just stop talking to you I'm also the type of person that is completely okay with not being liked by everybody. I became that person the older I got. I don't give a fuck if somebody don't like me. There was a point in my life where I really didn't give a fuck if I wasn't liked because no one liked me. But that's because nobody tried to get to know me and went with whatever story somebody told them. And I was perfectly fine with that. I was like, if you're going to believe a story, I'm not about to go out of my way to convince you that that's not who I am. I love my life and I love who I've become and I love the person that I married. That's all that matters. I love my family. I love my partner. I love that he allows me to be me, especially in friendships with people that I truly, really, truly love and care for. He recognizes that I have character traits that I can't just get rid of. I'm naturally a nurturer, so when it comes to my friends, I love to make sure that they're good, that they're okay. That's just who I am. It's in my nature. I've always been like that before becoming a mom. And the people who don't know that about me are the ones that never took the time to get to know me and just ran with a narrative. And anybody that missed out on being my friend, I don't double back. If there was an opportunity there where you could have had a conversation with me and you chose not to have a conversation, I'm going to assume that you don't care. 